Hey guys, what's up? Abomination9 here, back playing some more Pokemon trade card game online. We left off, we opened up a couple of Crimson Invasion packs and a bunch of other scrap that I had laying around. But today, we actually have three Legacy packs, I think, and I was able to trade around until I eventually got six Burning Shadows, which I wanted uh, some of these. And we haven't opened these on the channel before. The last episode was the first time we opened up uh, Crimson Invasion as well. I haven't opened up Shining Legends or Guardians Rising yet on the channel. So maybe that'll happen eventually. But of course, we're starting off with these chests. Which we actually got good stuff from them last time, though it seems that it's not going to be that way this time. Oh, okay, here's something special, question mark. A freaking Politoed from Guardians Rising. Uh, 130 HP, roll call, search your deck for a Poliwag, a Poliwhirl, and a Poliwrath, and put them onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. What? Does that mean put them separately onto the bench? Like, one Poly, or one Wag, one Whirl, one Wrath? Or just set them on top of each other, like a full evolution up to Wrath? I'm assuming it means put them separately, so you just get a free Wagwirl and Wrath on the bench. So three Pokemon on the bench. Which, that's pretty crazy. And then Hydro Jump, 100 damage for three. You may shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attach it into your deck. Which, yeah, he's, he's actually pretty good with Roll Call. Hydro Jump is also situationally good because you can hit for 100 your first time around, not jump out. But then when Politoed's about to die, use high, uh, Hyper Jump and jump him into the deck, and then they don't get the knockout on him. So he's he's alright. Nothing good this time, but I don't have one of these. Also, this is a reverse hollow as well. Uh, Kiawe from Burning Shadows. Search your deck for up to four energy cards and attach them to one of your Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. Your turn ends. This is a pretty good card, except for the turn ends part, but other than that, I mean, that's a great freaking card in a fire deck. And a freaking Metapod to end us off. Thanks, Metapod. So we'll open up the legacy stuff first, which we'll open up th this one Dark Explorers. This one you get for climbing the ladder currently, I think. All new stuff, of course, except for that Torchic for some reason. So we got a Clink, an Eevee, a Vanillite, a Joltic, Torchic, a Crocorock, Volibi, Old Amber, uh, Aerodactyl, which I appreciate. We have two rares here, our first one being a Reverse Hollow uh, Excavul Excavalier. So, for it's 90 HP, and for 1 energy, Joust, 30 damage. Before doing damage, discard a Pokemon to a card attached to your defending Pokemon, which is meh. And for 3, 70 damage during opponent's next turn, this Pokemon has no weakness. So, meh. And our other rare is an Acceligor, which is meh. This is pretty disappointing. 20 damage for 1, and 50 for 2. The defending Pokemon is now paralyzed and poisoned. Shuffle this Pokemon and all cards had to it into your deck. So the process and poison is nice, 50 damage is whatever, though shuffling him into your deck is not okay, so meh. Now for our two heart gold soul silver triumphant packs, which I don't like the name heart gold and soul silver, they don't really roll off the tongue in my opinion, it's kind of hard to say. Voltorb, a Shuppet. Nidoran, uh, Nidoran male, this is Nidoran female, Pidgey, Nidorina, Whalmer. I don't think I've ever gotten a Whalmer in anything, ever. I have a Whale Lord EX, and that's probably about it. I've never seen a Whalmer, I don't think. Uh, Lyron, another double rare here. We have a Reverse Hollow Mammal Swine, so 140 HP. Finny Pokemon is now asleep, and that's 40 for 3, which is a bit meh. 
Snowstorm, 70, does 20 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. Eh. And our other rare is a Needle Queen, which there's some pretty good Needle Queens and Needle Kings, so hopefully this one lives up to them. 130 HP, draw cards until you have 6 cards in your hand for 30 damage and 1 energy, that's pretty amazing. And 50 plus, uh, if you have more prize cards left than your opponent, this attack does 50 damage plus 30 more, which means it does um, 80 damage is what it means. It's not 50 plus 50 plus 30, it just means 50 raw and then 30 more if you have that prize card. More prize cards, so... Meh. Returns really good. Price counts all right. Not as good as my favorite Needle Queen. I would think that Needle Queen is from Primal Clash. The one with the ancient trait. I think it's Primal Clash. Or is it the Primal Clash or Ancient Origins? Uh, Carvana, Yanma, Needle Ran, uh, Mail, Magnemite. Uh, a uh, a palm, Pidgeotto, Nidorina, I don't need a Reno. A rescue energy. Rescue energy provides a uh, uh, colorless energy. The Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by damage from an, an attack. Put that Pokemon back into your hand. A reverse hollow ponytail. And our rare is a Brazong. 90 HP. Search your deck for both halves of a Pokemon legend. Show them to your opponent. Put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. What? That's crazy. Move an energy card attached to Brazong to one of your bench Pokemon. So it's reflect energy, whatever, but its first ability is crazy. I feel like I've seen that claymation before. I don't have one. I'm not claymation, but just clay picture before. But apparently this is the first time I've gotten this, but I've definitely seen this clay model before. Yeah, that first ability is crazy. Legend Ceremony, because I'm assuming getting two pieces of a legendary, uh, uh, of a legend Pokemon is pretty hard. Now, for what we've been waiting for, Burning Shadows, which all of these are tradable, because I did trading to get them. So if we get anything good, we could trade it up. Double the time, cool. We got a new trainer here as well, never, never seen her before. Metal Energy... A Venipede. I, mean, I guess I should read these because I haven't seen them before. Venipede, Bug Bite for 10 and Venom Shock for 20. If the uh, opponent's active Pokemon is poisoned, this does 40 more, so it's uh, 60, which is pretty good. A Meowth, Flip a Coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is not uh, paralyzed, and that's for 10. Caterpie, Flip a Coin. If it's tails, this does nothing. If it if it's heads, it does 20. Uh, Sandy Gas, heal 10 damage from this Pokemon, and it does 10. Wimp Pod, 3 energy to do 30 damage, and it's free retreat costs if you uh, on the first turn. We have a uh, Rebombi, which I'm actually interested in this because uh, this Rebombi I actually want. Like, I want an entire set of them, plus they're pretty cute, despite the abysmal HP, unfortunately. Though, I think in one of these sets, you have the Dumbbells that gives Stage 1s more HP. So you can combine those Dumbbells with Rabambi here, I guess, to make her slightly more usable. But the Rabambi we got here is 70 HP and the ability of, once during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two basic energy cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand, shuffle your, your deck afterwards. That's amazing. And Pollen Shot for 1, and it does 20. So, still pretty decent. Again, you can put a dumbbell on this and make it a 110 I think. I think they get 40 HP to stage ones. Corellia 20 damage for 1, 30 for one, uh, 2. Olivia search your deck for up to 2 Pokemon GX. Just reveal them and put them into your hand then shuffle your deck afterwards. Which okay. Whatever. I actually wanted this. I did buy a uh Whatever the deck is that has the low nine tails in it, because I really wanted them. So I do appreciate that. So now I can have a deck full of three of them, because I was hoping I actually would draw one of these plus a low and um, sandlash, I think. So this is a rare reverse hollow, which has the ability of prevent all effects of attacks, including damage into this Pokemon by your 
opponents GX and EX, which is why I wanted this card so badly. Because you still had all those old cards that prevent damage and whatnot from EXs. But now that GXs came up, they kind of made those cards obsolete. Because everyone's just going to use GXs. But now, you have something that blocks both GX and EXs, which is great. And its attack's not that bad either. 3 for 80 is decent. Its HP is one, uh, 10 over 100 as well, which might save it from some attacks. And our other rare is a Scolipede. 106 HP, 80 damage for 3 and a guaranteed poison, plus 140 on its other one for 4 energy, and its damage is not uh, affected by resistance. So it will punch through even if they have psychic resistance. Not bad. I was hoping for something else, but it, he's okay. He's okay. Hopefully we actually get a GX or something out of this. There's like 8,000 GXs in this pack, so that's what I was hoping for. We got a lightning energy and another one of these guys. Good. Lightning energy. For baller, 2 for 40. That's not bad, actually. Inkay, uh, 1 for a chance to paralyze and 2 for 20. I think we've seen Tangle already. Tynamo, 1 for 10. If your opponent's active Pokemon has any water energy attached to it, this attack does 30 more. Agility, 10. For the coin of hedge prevent all effects of attacks, including damage to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. That's a Ladybug. Corellia again. Olivia again. We've got Kiwi again, but uh, the last time we got him, he was out of that um, chest. But yeah, I do appreciate getting more of these guys, for sure. Penpour, 10 for 1. And our rare is a Heracross, which I appreciate that. Another Team Skull member in the background as well. 110 HP off the bat. This is a basic has guts. This Pokemon would be knocked out by damage from an attack. Flip a coin. If heads, this Pokemon is not knocked out, and its remaining HP is 10. The opponent switches their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon. And that's 50 for two, so that's pretty decent. There's a Celebi that does this as well, where if it gets knocked out, you flip a coin. If it if it's head, you can just put it back into your deck, which this is slightly better since he gets to stay on the field. So yeah, that's that's pretty good. I appreciate that. I, I like Heracross as a Pokemon in general, so it's nice to just have a Heracross in general because I don't think I had any before, any variant of it. But we got another new girl there. We have a Metal Energy, a Cutie Fly for a 1 for 10, a Rilu, uh 1 for 10, and 2 for 30. Uh, Tokodemaru, we got 1 for 20 and 2 for 40, plus if you land a heads on a coin flip, it does 20 more. A uh, Dupider, 1 for 10, with a chance to do 10 more. A Low and Grimer, free, search your deck for a Low and Grimer and put it onto your bench and shuffle your deck, which is pretty alright. And 2, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused, which adds meh. A uh, Viper. Don't think I have any Vipers, and if I do, I only have one. Put one damage counter on your opponent's po uh, poison Pokemon between turns. One more. That's pretty good. And three for 30, and that poisons them. So, mm, its attack is not good, but the more poison is good. These could just be bench warmers. These could just be bench warmers, and you, your, whatever your active Pokemon actually is would be the poisoner. This will be even better if, um, what's that insect's name? The insect that's able to just poison both Pokemon, act Pokemon, uh, whenever it wants to, as its ability. That plus the Viper would be nice if that Pokemon I was talking about was still, that is like a rack something. I forgot his name, I don't know why I forgot his name, because I used to use him all the time. But... He's pretty good combined with this, but you'd have to play it in Expanded, I guess, since he's not standard anymore. Uh, Gloom. Which, did we look at this yet? I don't think so. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused for 1 and 2 for 30. We have Accelerola, or Acerola. Put one of your Pokemon that has any damage counters on it and all cards attached to it into your hand, which I think this is AZ, I believe, from the Legendary set. AZ did the same thing, or Legendary... Uh, play, I guess. AZ did this. Though, is AZ legendary now, or is it just expanded? Let's go with expanded. AZ is probably expanded now. You can't use them anymore. 
But I think he did the same thing that she does. A reverse hollow dust skull for one and put a basic Pokemon from discard on discard pile onto the bench and two for twenty. And our rare is I cannot believe it. A full card art number one forty five out of one forty two Plumeria Plum Plumeria? Plumeria Full card art Plumeria A Plumeria. I think plu uh, Plumeria slides off better. Discard two cards from your hand, and if you do, discard an energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. Hmm. It's cool and all, but the ability itself is not that great unless you have cards that you want to be in the discard. I think... I think this card is in this set because someone wanted to trade me the poster boy for this set for something I had. It was prob uh, probably the Espeon that I traded. Um, but the poster boy for this set I think has the GX move that does damage based on a certain type of card that you have in the discard pile or it has an ability or something. Something about it did something based on your discard pile. Which I'm assuming that's why she's also in here, because you use her with, in combination with him. But I wouldn't really use this otherwise, because you know you have flare grunts, you have the hammers, you have all sorts of things. So why would I? Why would I throw two cards away just to get rid of an energy when you can just use a flare grunt? I don't understand. Assuming that flare grunts can still be used in standard, since I noticed that they weren't. Uh, before generation, they were released in generations. Their last set was X and Y, which would put them out of being standard, but maybe generations has kept them into standard. I don't know. If that is the case, well, then I don't see a point in using this other than using it in combination with that Pokemon I was talking about. I forget, I don't know his name. But yeah, other than that, I mean, it's cool that I actually just got this. And it only took three packs, which. I guess you kind of assume out of three packs you're expected to at least get some sort of ultra rare. So we got a fairy energy, a sock, one, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attack from basic Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. This Pokemon can't use quick guard during the next turn, which is okay. And two for 40, and this damage isn't affected by resistance or any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. We got Tokamaru, we got an Oddish, one, to guarantee poison. Hmm, you could have used Oddish with uh, Sviper, maybe. Mud Break, 2 for 20 at the chance of hitting for 40. Wimpod, Semiseer? I guess because I got this in that deck, that's what it says. I, I, um, seen it already. So Scratch for 30 and 2 for 50. Attach a Fire Energy card from Discard Pile to one of your bench Pokemon. A Mount Lanakila. The Ruchi cost of each basic Pokemon is play. Both yours and your opponent is one more. That's pretty good. Slightly. Even though there's tons of ways to give your Pokemon no retreat cost. Noctowl. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. That's one for 30 with a guaranteed sleep. And three for 70. Your opponent reveals their hand. Discard a Pokemon from... Hmm. That's all right. To stop evolutions from happening. A reverse hollow Olivia, which now we have three of these. Oh, there's a freaking... Uh, full card art of this, which it actually looks pretty nice, honestly. But I think all the full card arts, possibly from the Sun and Moon generations, are probably pretty good. And our rare is a Hollow Rhyperior. 160 HP. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your next turn, you may discard the top three cards of your opponent's deck. That's pretty good. That's really good, honestly. And 170 for 4, this attack's damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance. This Pokemon can't attack during your next turn. So 170 will kill anything that isn't an EX or GX. Some EXs it can kill. Some GXs it will not kill. Most EXs, honestly, it will not kill. And it won't kill Whale Lord. And it won't kill Megas. But it'll kill some EXs. And pretty much any 
Stage 3. Or Stage 2, I should say. So that's pretty good, except for the fact that it can't attack uh, back to back. But that is a lot of damage. Hopefully we can at least get like another GX out of here. Out of these two packs. I wish I could just get like 40 of these packs. Oh, we got double. Metal Energy, a low one, a rat attack. Uh, freebie. During an extra Pokemon's bite attack to base damage is 60. Whoa. And of course, bite for 10 off of one. Porygon, look at your one of your opponent's face down prize cards and beam for one. Uh, Pen Seer Charmander, scratch for 10 and two for 20. One for, well, we already seen Pan for. Uh, Soul Rock, double draw off of one, so draw two cards. And Solar Heat, if there's any stadium card in play, this act does 20 more damage, so 20 for one, 40 if there's a stadium. Escape Rope, everyone should know what Escape Rope does. A Gloom. And our first rare is a Reverse Hollow Dark Ray. 120 HP for two. You can hit for 30 damage and put the Pokemon to sleep. Back to Pokemon to sleep. And for three, you can 80 plus if your opponent has already used their GX attack. That's attacked us 80 more. Wow. 160 if they've used their GX. That's pretty good. And 80 is nothing to scoff at, kind of. And other rare is a Toxicroak. Non hollow. So 110 HP, not that great, but he can use dumbbells. Uh, for th I guess you would use Toxic Croak and Survivor then. Looking at this, 30 damage and your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned for two and for three. 80 damage if the po uh, if this Pokemon is po oh, I keep hitting the mic. If this Pokemon is poison, this attack does 80 more damage. Then remove the special condition from this Pokemon. Hmm. How would you go about poisoning itself? I don't know how you would do that, but it's a great card. 80 against nothing to scoff at, kind of. 160 is nothing to scoff at if you can poison him somehow. Poison Jab combos with Surviper. And you could use Poison Barbs to make sure the opponent's Pokemon gets poisoned as well, which Poison Barbs are in Sun and Moon. Yeah, there's some ways you can get some poisoning happening to get that Surviper ability to start ticking off. Okay, uh, lightning energy, stuffle, one, baby doll eyes, defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn, and two for tackle, or two for 20, uh, Pansage, Crabawler, Meow, Krogunk, one for 10, and two for 20 at the chance of hitting for 40, Charmeleon, two for 30, three for 70, uh, Whirlipede, two for 30, and switch this Pokemon with one on your bench. And 3 for 60. Wobbuffet, 3 for 50x. This attack does 50 damage for each uh, energy in your opponent's active for Pokemon's retreat cost. So, potentially 0 to 200, 250. I think some Pokemon have up to 5 retreat costs. And if you can boost that with that stadium we got earlier, this Wobbuffet can hit pretty hard. Freaking topping out at. 250, possibly even higher if you can somehow uh, increase the retreat cost. That's this is a really good Wobbuffet. Noibat, versus Hollow Noibat. One for ten. And our last rare is a Tan Growth. So 140 heal from this Pokemon the same amount of energy you did uh, to your opponent's active Pokemon. So 30 damage if you hit for true. You can also put some dumbbells on this. Uh, for the four coins, attack does 50 damage for each head, so 0 to 200 damage. Meh. A bit disappointed that we didn't get that many cards. Or that many good cards. I was hoping to actually get some more GXs out of that. Or did we get any GXs at all, actually? I don't think we did. We got that full art for sure. Uh, is there full art? 
There you go. Like, we got that freaking... Whoops. Why is it only showing these? Did I screw something up? Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh, because I'm only showing full art. That I would just add full art. Whatever. So, yeah, guys, unfortunately, we did not get that much good stuff. I mean, we got that full art supporter, which was okay, but meh. I was kind of hoping to actually get a bunch of GXs, but we'll just have to try again for some more Burning Shadows, which I will definitely try to get some more Burning Shadows in the next episode, whenever that'll be. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Tune into the next episode. Like, subscribe, comment, you have to do. See ya.